WrestleMania 21. Known to most people, the the best, I disagree. It was the 21st annual WrestleMania professional wrestling pay-per-view event produced by WWE. It took place April 3rd, 2005 at Staples Center in LA. Um, and WrestleMania goes Hollywood. In my um, humble opinion, the best part is actually the the movie. You know, the, the movie preview is really cool. Uh, one, one being Eddie Guerrero and Booker T as Vince and Jules from, um, you know, Pulp Fiction. That was really cool. You have, um, a, uh, you know, Basic Instinct parody was pretty cool and sexy as hell with Stacey Keebler. Braveheart featuring Triple H playing the role of Mel Gibson with Ric Flair making a cameo. That was really funny. My, my humble, my opinion, um, for my favorite though, is the Forrest Gump featuring Eugene playing the role of Tom Hanks with William Regal making a cameo. Uh, you have few good men featuring Cena and JBL. That was a really good one. Dirty Harry featuring Undertaker playing the Clint Eastwood role. When, <laughs> Harry Met Sally featuring Kurt Angle and Chrissy Hem uh, playing the roles of Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan with Linda McMahon making cameo appearance. We all probably we all know what uh, one we're in particular thinking what that is. Taxi Driver with the amount of people trying to do the uh, De Niro role with like Rey Mysterio, Tajiri, Orlando Jordan. Michael Cole, Chavo Guerrero, and just for, and, uh, um, just saying a few. Gladiator with Stone Cold playing the role of Russell Crowe, airing as part of the opening video for the event. It was really fun. Very funny. Uh, I got to say, those were like, the, the, in my opinion, the better part. Cena defeating Kurt Angle to earn a spot in the SmackDown main event at WrestleMania. Again. I didn't like what Cena did. Like, I was never really... I was never into Cena. I liked Thugonomics because I thought it was funny. And I thought that, like, the style was cool. I never... For a young... You know, a young young wrestling talent to me is Brock Lesnar. You know, Randy Orton. Cena was, is too... You know, he's too kiddish for me. He's too, like... I just don't like that. I don't like that um, all American thing where he even didn't even fight for the country. Uh, even with the the whole little like stint he he just did like a few times, like a few weeks ago. I, I just I'm not a fan. Uh, again, I, I you know I respect for some of the things he's done, but that's it. I never understood the whole. You know, I know he was close with Eddie, but I don't know. Booker T won by last eliminating Chris Masters for the inter-promotional battle royal. Really cool. Um, for the 30-man. It was 30-man. Rey Mysterio defeated Andy Guerrero. Um, Edge defeating Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho, Christian, Tyson Tomko. Kane and Shelton Benjamin for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Uh, very cool uh, Money in the Bank ladder match, i got to say. And, um, I yeah, that is the... That's the very first... That's one of the reasons I do like that as well as for the, being the very first Money in the Bank ladder match. Undertaker defeating Randy Orton. Trish Stratus defeating Christy Hem. I mean, Kurt Angle defeating Shawn Michaels by submission. Very good one. John Cena um, and, uh, you know, JBL. Again, it's fine It's fine to me because fucking JBL should have gotten, sooner or later should have gotten out. Batista defeating Triple H with Ric Flair for the heavyweight championship. I kind of don't, wouldn't. Didn't mind that either. 
Um, have you already seen that with what that happened? Uh, we already, yeah, just the amount of people here. You have Rosie or Scotty Too Hotty was there, Luther Reigns. It was just like, and also the amount of people that that uh came. It was really impressive, like Adam Sandler, Rob Schneider, David Arquette, Motorhead, Billy Gibbons from ZD Top, the Black Eyed Peas, Billy Corgan from the Smashing Pumpkins, Ice Cube, Carmen Electra, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Sylvester Stallone, uh, Mark Halligenberger, Matt Groening, Rick Rubin, Will Sasso, and Macaulay Culkin. Um... For what it is, it's like it's huge, but it's no WrestleMania 20, in my opinion.